Okay, so it is time for Advent of Code 2025. Um, this year, there's only 12 days. Because Eric needs a break, which is totally fair. But um, I'll be doing all 12 of them, as usual. Right now, I'm in Pacific time. So it is 9 p.m. over here. But I'll be back on the East Coast um, in about eight hours. So from from day two onwards, it will be midnight when I do the puzzles. Anyways, um, let's just get started with day one. Also, there's no global leaderboard this year, but I'll have a private leaderboard and I'll, I'll share the link uh, at some point. Here's my code, so I'll, I'll share that in the description. <clears throat> Not having a global leaderboard also removes some of the pressure that comes with doing the puzzles, which I think is good. Um, but also there's less incentive to, to do it faster now, so maybe I'll take more of my time this year. All right, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okie dokie, okay. Okay, uh, points at zero, so so there's a hundred, what does it say, there's, wait, rotations, zero to 100, okay. <clears throat> Not inclusive of 100. Okay, so I guess we, we can just iterate through the entire list and... Uh, yeah, okay, lines. So we're gonna start at zero and then four line in lines. Dir equals line zero, so that's gonna be left, right, and then amounts is <clears throat> the rest of the line. If dir is left, then we're going to do cur equals cur minus amount mod 100, and maybe let's let's add 100 just to be safe here. I don't know if Python wraps negative numbers when you do mod, <clears throat> but you know just to avoid any errors. And then if cur equals zero, count plus equals one because we want to count the number of times we hit zero, <clears throat> and then we print out counts. Zero, that's not good. That is not good. Let's print our inputs. <clears throat> okay, that seems fine. Um, let's print out the current position. Okay, <clears throat> let's see. Left 68. Oh, it starts at 50. Okay, that would make a lot more sense. Okay, so now there's three. Uh, let's give it the full input. 1064. Okay, part one is complete. Let's see. If to use a password method. Oh, wow, okay. Um, count the number of times any click causes the dial to point at zero. Oh, I see. Okay, so if it <clears throat> goes past. Goes past zero, I see. Okay, so now we need to measure the number of times it crosses zero, which is slightly more difficult. Let's see, how do we do this? Mm, I mean, we could just like simulate it. Let's see, I mean, n clicks equals zero, and then let's just see how many times we click in total. 1060. I'm sorry, we're still running part one. Uh, that's about 600,000, that's fine, that's fine. Let's see, okay, so for, 
underscore in range mount. We're going to run this and then just print out. I mean, this is like pretty inefficient, but six. OK, it, it'll work. Six, one, two, two. Ta -da. OK, that's that's part one. Pretty simple. <clears throat> It was a little snowman. It's very cute. Kind of looks like a penguin. Um, but yeah, for part one, we just keep track of where we are. We use mod to wrap around. For part two, we um, simulate each click one by one. And then this is pretty inefficient, but gets the job done. So that's it for day one of Advent of Code 2025. And I'll be back tomorrow with day two.